What's up everybody? We've got a Season 7 game here for you today. I actually just recorded a Season 7 game and I realized that OBS was not recording my microphone. So all my commentary has gone to waste. But that's okay because I can just do it again. Uh, there is some things I should mention. Like right now, Ymir Chibi, the Chibi skin is disabled for some reason. Like I tried to pop a skin booster to use it and I just I couldn't use it. Unless it's a limited skin. I hope it's not limited. By the way, I can't use that. Uh... But we'll play Ymir anyways. I'll probably pop a skin booster anyway so we can use the Halloween skin, which I don't have. Uh, they banned Kamazots. I think Kamazots is probably one of the best gods in duel with this new map because he can rotate so well. By the way, we're going to play Ymir. Uh, let's pop that skin booster. Where is it? Oh, that's not what I want to do, but favorite skin, sh favorite booster, sure. Yeah, so like Chibi, Chibi Ymir is not here, so we're just going to use this. Really cool skin. I kind of wish I got it when it came out, but then again, it's so many gems. So many gems. I could always direct purchase it, though. So that's a nice thing. That's a nice thing the Olympians brought to us. Is, yeah, 1,200 gems is a lot for a skin, but it's way better than paying for all items in a 60 gems chest, you know? But uh, this guy's loading in, and normally I'd skip this, cut this part out. But there's a lot to talk about this map. There's a lot of strategies, and that's what I'm going to talk to you about. Or you can fast forward into the game. Like, this dual start, the dual start right now is to start at speed buff and then make your way into lane. However, with Ymir, Ymir cl clears buff so fast, I think we can we can gamble by going for speed, then blue, then lane. The downside to that, though, is that it uses a lot of mana, and I won't have the same sustain as my opponent. Now, if I take speed, then go to blue and pick up blue instead of picking up speed, that's good for my sustain, but then I don't have speed buff to move around to different uh, buffs. Also, this skin is really cool. That on her skin, I should make a video with it. That's a uh, season six reward. All right, so Hunter's Blessing Bancroft, that is the same. We're against on her. Um, maybe I should go extra mana? No, we're fine. I will go Bracer, I think. No, Link. Bracer, we'll go Bracer. Yeah, so there's a lot of camps. There's a camp. Oh, I'm on I'm on chaos this time. This time, okay. So speed buff, then blue buff. I don't know which way is faster, going around this way or going around this way. I think if I leash it over here, it's faster. Well, if I leash it over here, it's faster too. I don't know. The, the, I, this is stuff off test. Whether it's faster to go this way to blue or this way to blue. I'll go this way though. Oh, camera. <laughs> We're against On Her. On Her is a difficult matchup for Ymir, but Ymir can do a couple things like wall off uh, the impales and stuff. So see, this is this is a little risky because I'm I get to lay in a tiny bit slow, and I use all my mana. But okay, he's not even there yet. But I take two buffs off of that, which is great. And you know they start spawning right away. It's like the minion wave will still be here. But now he has pressure. So this is what I'm, I'm trying new strategies to see if it's worth it, you know? Is it worth it going for that blue buff, giving up lane pressure, but on the bright side, getting more farm? Because right now, no, he's ahead. He's ahead. Okay, so it's not worth it if I lose a bunch of minions. But I had an XP. Do I hit level 5 faster? So if I hit level 5 faster, that's kind of worth oh, That's not good. Well, I kind of wish I'd blink. I could blink on him. And ult. When he leaped, I actually should have gotten ready to ult. He's completely out of mana. We can go for his blue buff because he didn't take it. Like, he can't stop us. Now, of course, you only get half the gold and XP on the new map if you are taking your opponent's buff. Oh, dude, you came over here? Holy moly. Where'd you get all that mana from, my friend? You got a lot of mana. Oh, if he gets enough for his ult. That's... That's bad news, Bears. Which he is going to. I still have Bracer. Air. He's chasing. He is a chasing hard. Alright, I'm just going to recall, dude. Yeah, he's ahead of me. I feel like I took more stuff than him, but he's ahead of me. So I guess buffs aren't that worth it right now. Do they lower how much XP and gold you get from buffs? I don't think so. But I feel like from after taking this, 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 and this... Even though I missed out on some minions, that I should be ahead, right? But no, that's not the case. By the way, uh, Red Buff is spawning right now. 
and he recalled so we can take it for free. That's kind of interesting that uh, he was able to get that lead. Now well, that gave a lot of gold. Gave 66 gold for the main minion. Alright. He's still ahead though. So I guess the important thing is don't lose minions to tower, or at least try not to. Obviously against honor, that's kind of hard because he pressures so much. He wants to see if he waltz ults this wave. He does not ult the ult wave. Let's back up. He has a lot of pressure. I don't think my start was worth it. I think going for the buff later when I would have gotten the entire wave would be more worth it. It would only be a good against a god with extremely bad buff clear. I can't finish anything, but I get a health chalice, which is worth. Important thing is uh, season seven, health chalice does not stack with health potions anymore. So it's not really, oh, I should have went for my speed buff. That's my mistake, I should have went for my speed buff. Well, I can go for my blue. But I'm missing out on XP and gold. Yeah, the might I love the I love the thing about this map coming out is there's so many strategies to learn. There's so many things to try out. And yeah, eventually a dominant strategy will come out, but there's so much op so many options on this map that even if a strategy that's popular comes out, I'm sure there will be a strategy that will counter that strategy. You know what I mean? Because on the old map there just wasn't that much stuff. It's not all. Okay, he does all. Interestingly enough. Wish I had more minions. Could have maybe altered and punished him. Ooh, he took some tower damage. He has full boots though, so I can't even like chase him right now. And obviously speed buff. Let's go take our our uh, minis. So how much gold and XP did these get? Twenty gold, forty XP. Is that a lot? It's okay. Man, speed buff is so far though. Speed buff is so far to rotate to. Like honestly, it seems like you should only go for speed buff if you plan on recalling anyways, then get it on the way back. I think that's the strat. Then again, you know, XP and gold that you get to use in the shop, so I don't know. As of right now, he is 200 gold ahead. That is fine. That sounds about right. I also need to place my ward down. I think I'll place it like here. Does not look like he took red buff. That's fine. Try to wall off that impale. Did not work. Looks like he's just focusing me and completely ignoring the wave. Thought he was going to impale me there. He did not. All right, yeah, I kind of want to try some of the new items. Uh, I went Ring of Heck Hate uh, a couple times in the mirror, and it's pretty good, but I don't know if it'd be that good against Honor because it's so hard to close the distance with him. Uh, other items, we can just go straight up Typhons. That's what I went before was Ring of Heck Hate with Typhons. Um, it's just a ton of power. But if I only go Typhons with Bancrofts, I think that'd be great. The reason I, I'm liking Typhons this season is because they gave it... They gave it some... What's the word for it? I can't get him. I would have been able to get him if he used the same tail earlier. Uh, they gave Typhon's Fang percent penetration. Oh my lord, I just tried to say that like ten times. It's already taken. Time to go. I probably could have killed him there if I had boots. Yo, should I go power boots? Let's go power boots. And then we'll go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gives us 75 power. Cooldown's probably worth it more, but it's only 10% on the sh on shoes of focus. I don't know. I think the extra power is pretty good. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, getting these right as they spawn, perfect. I don't think I have enough time to rotate down speed. 
Again, it's just so far away. Uh, we could go Wing Blade in this matchup. That'd be pretty nice. Doesn't get power though. Uh, this honor is pretty good. I won't lie. This honor is pretty good. He does have the uh, the rank skin to show for it. Oh, my ult wasn't up yet. Nice. Only reason I was able to do that was because he used his A, his impale, and B, his ultimate. So he had no way to CC immune my freeze, and of course his leap was down. So he did all three things he shouldn't do at the same time. You know, he he, because if he has his leap up, I can't ult him. If he has his, his ult up, I can't freeze him uh, effectively. And if he has his, what was the other one? What the other, his impale up, he can just push me away. Like right now, he should have his leap, so he's fine. Although I've been doing a ton of damage. Yet. Nice, dude. We're doing great. Interesting. I'm very interested that at the beginning, even though I took all three buffs and lost some minions to tower, that that punished me. That's kind of a good thing in a way. That's kind of a good thing because that shows that you can't just go only for buffs. All right, let's go back now. Need some defense. I'll go a breastplate of valor to make up for the cooldown I didn't tag get from my boots. Nimian's good, but honestly, honor kills you in a couple autos anyways. The cooldown might be better to, like, if I'm able to put a wall off and just stop his autos or force him to leap over it. That's pretty nice. Uh oh, I, you know what? I keep forgetting uh, to get my second relic. It doesn't tell you, right now there's a bug where it doesn't tell you when you leave base and it kind of looks like you already have a second relic, so it's kind of, you know, kind of confusing. I probably should put that directly on Bull Demon, but oh well. I imagine sentries will be worth it for that. Alright, well he's just going to run away, I guess. We can go for Bull Demon. I'm out to scare. That's over 1,000 damage. I might die for it, but if it, I die for it, that's pretty worth, right? Also, it's called Demon King now, but I'm probably still going to call it Bull Demon. Look how awesome it looks. The art team, round of applause for the art team for the new map, man. So good. I don't even need to use my Oh, I don't, I think. All right, perfect. We'll recall right away. That we don't miss out anything. I guess he went for red. Yeah, let's go with this item right here. I'll get Blink. Blink, uh, because there is so many walls, gods can jump over and get away from Ymir, and I can just Blink after them. I imagine gods with leaps are going to be way better on this map. There's just so many places they can go. But that, that was the same for the other map as well. Alright, so he's going to leap here. Oh, he did not go over a wall. He's going to ult. He's not going to ult. <laughs> Just gonna use his beats. He's an impale in a bit. I did not get his uh his alt when I wanted to, but oh well. Oh he just leaped out of base. Might be able to do a ton of damage to him. Just need to get his impale. Need to juke his impale. Yeah, we don't do that much damage right now. I should be doing damage to Titan. Again, I love that they uh, they increase the health for the Titan. I think that is really good for Duel. I can blink on him in two seconds. Oh, shoot. I guess not. Because the Titan having a ton of health means you only win the game when you kind of deserve it. You can't just only focus the Titan. You have to fight a little bit. If you only focus the Titan, it's going to take forever. And if, you, if you're if you taking the Titan forever and your opponent can't kill you, then yeah, they kind of, they're in the position to lose, you know? Looks like his strategy is to ignore the wave and just keep me away, which is working. We'll go check all these buffs over here. I could have taken his speed, I guess. He is working on an Executioner. Also, he went Pestilence, which will be annoying for my... My life still build, but it'll be fine. Alright, let's recall. 
had to. Oh, that's expensive. I'll have to sell my Hunter's Blessing. Well, even then, I don't think it's worth selling my Hunter's Blessing. Not worth. We get a ward. Dang, I just need a little bit more gold. It does feel awkward going for speed buff, and then you can't. There's like no good way to take all the buffs in one rotation. I guess that's what people will find out. I imagine the proper rotation when you're ahead is speed this, this, this. Because I'm missing out on one with this. But then that's such a long path. Like, is it even worth it? Alright. This Phoenix will be coming up soon-ish. Also, I think if I put a ward right here, he can't uh, kill that. I guess he has sentry. Yeah, he can't kill. No, wait. Did, no, it's right there. It's fine. So you, you you can put a ward between Phoenix and Titan, which is interesting. I, I don't know if you could do that before. You probably could. Okay, altered wave is on her main. True on her main. Got his beats. That's great. That is fantastic getting his beats. I'm just gonna stay here because he can't impale me against anything. is coming up relatively fast. Alright, come on. Good amount of damage with Hunter's Blessing, but it's not enough. Dude, I do way less damage than I thought just because of those backdoor protections. Oof. Plus, you should have a Demonic Grip for attack speed. What else can I get? I can still get Ring of a K. I get Toxic Blade. He does have Devos. Toxic Blade gives some good stats. Demonic, because Demonic was nerfed, it was, it was a small nerf, right? Demonic has had a small nerf. And because it doesn't work well with percent pen items, I don't think I'm going to be building it as much as I used to. However, uh, against melee characters, probably, yeah. I think on Demir, Demonic Grip now has its proper place where it's like, I shouldn't be building it every game because that's kind of how it was last season. Now I'll only be building it against uh, melee characters, most likely. And with the exceptional range character, if I can close the distance well. Honor is extremely hard to close the distance against. Alright, it doesn't look like... So I can go for Bull Demon here and try to force him out. Also, can I see how even this game is? We are the same level. I'm uh, quite a bit ahead in gold, but like this is a nice even game. Which is... Which is nice, but I feel like I've been taking way more stuff than him. I don't know. I guess just minion waves are worth more than buffs. Which, you know, that's not a bad thing. Uh, where do I put a ward? Right there. You can't pass that without coming to Bull Demon. Is that, is that the ward placement? That looks like the ward placement. Oh, he's coming over here. That's for sure. Ah, that's annoying. He's gonna put his yeah, wall. Like I said, closing the distance against honor is something else. Closing the distance against honor is something else. I want him to leap on me. But I don't see that he's going to do it. Is he getting Witchblade? Are you getting Witchblade, my man? I have Blink. Oh, you should not have done that. Oh, he has Aegis. He's fine. Eh. Okay. Come on, life steal, life steal, life steal! <laughs> oh god, life steal is so fun. Going life steal with typhoons, man. If I did not have typhoons, with just Bancroft, I could have maybe taken that. But I think the typhoons giving me that much healing really made it. Oh lord, that's fun. That's fun. Again, he, he could always build into anti heal, but he's going into a witch blade or whatever. I don't even know what item that builds into because I never see it. Or is there, there's a new item in that tree, isn't there? 
That's probably what it is. There's a new item in that tree and I'm stupid. There's so many minions. So many minions. Oh, did he just take that? We're gonna need more penetration? No, oh, that builds into Toxic Blade? Wait, really? I'm building into that. Oh, they switched up the tree. That way this gives attack speed. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So not new item, just uh... Okay, this, yeah, so this item they actually removed from the game. This tier two, I forgot about that. So they brought it back. It used to always build into Witchblade, but then they removed it for a while. Interesting. That's why I thought it was for that, okay. Uh, next item, we will go... I don't have any new items, man. We need some new items. Uh, Karen's coin? No, not really. Karen's coin sucks for duel. Uh, this item I want to build in, like, Conquest. Tyrannical Plate Helm. Um, I guess the only good item that's new is Ring. Ring of AK. With this build. He's a lot of anti-heal now, though. Plus, I still need Wing Blade, most likely. Alright, dude. Got him. Just barely, barely got him. Alright, how many minions do I have? I have enough. And that's game. See, that feels like a proper duel game. That feels good. That that feels good. I like this. I like this a lot. I do think Ymir is better on this map, if I'm being quite honest, because of the amount of camps and how fast Ymir takes them. But, again, Ymir doesn't do... You know, the, Ymir doesn't have a leap, and gods with leaps can go over the walls and get away from him and all that. But, oh, this map is so fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I'm having a blast on this map right now. I'm in gold because, you know, season reset. Uh, let's see. Uh, scoreboard. There's that. And here's this. Player damage. Oh, he did way more player damage than me. Interesting. I mitigated more, though. GG. Well played. Uh, we'll, I'll have to try out Fafnir and Sylvanas. You know, all my favorite gods on this map. And it's going to be a blast. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time.